See on these heifers uh, as I got them in, uh, good heifers, good ear, good navel. Now I'm about to synchronize them and turn them out. Or someone wants to buy them, we'll trade right here. Uh, the, I, I got a weight on them. The orange tag heifers weighed like 825. The green tag heifers still weighed 750 something other. So they're all they're all definitely ready for bulls. Off good leather, good navel in these girls. Uh, I have 30 some odd here. A video of these and I walk it's just two pins over of it, same cattle. Anyway, these are good navel. They're damn sure I'll make some awesome bringing these cows. It's looking pretty, aren't they? Mm. This is one pin up and just, I just divide them all just according to pin size. Okay, I'm running over here. <laughs> okay, all right, here we are again. These are their mates. I just divide them according to pin size. Not anything. Just gate cut. I guess more of the orange tags. Look like more of the orange tag heifers are in here. I like these heifers. They make good cows. Damn sure bring is kind, you know. Of course, when I get, I'll re-tag them, put all my tags in them, they'll look all blue and blue tags look fancy. These are good heifers. I like these girls. Whew. Kind of got some bones, natural thickness. I like awesome cows. Whether if you're, you know, breeding them to resell, like a lot of guys do, they breed them in the summer, resell them in the fall, or some just make really good productive cows. I definitely think these heifers are the kind. Good cow makers, though. You now some grass are really going to jump to. Again, all good ear, good navel, all brangus heifers. You no, know, these Angus cheaters. Uh, it wears me out when I go to a group and guy says they're Angus, they're brangus, and come there and a bunch of bunch of little eared cattle that you know aren't really Angus, aren't really brangus either. But these cattle definitely are, are brangus. No half bloods. They're more like quarter bloods, three eighths, five eighths, more like three eighths, five eighths, I guess. Yeah, more three eighths, five eighths, and quarter bloods too. Anyway, good group of heifers. Uh, Thirty some odd in this group. I'll make a really nice stout cow. Again, my plans are normally what I do, I get them in, synchronize them, put bulls with them, put them on the market. And I'll synchronize with blue lights and so people know what that means. It makes them give them a shot, that makes them come in heat. So the bulls covered, have them bred in a very tight window. As my opinion, guys, it's paramount. If you're buying cattle for me or turning your own heifers, synchronize them, guys. Synchronize them. You and all calve in the same window, whether, you, whether if you're a rancher just wanting to calve your heifers out, you want them calve in tight, or if you want to resell them, Everybody wants a tight calf window so they'll cycle back in a timely fashion after they have that first calf. So, in my opinion, don't just dump your heifers out with bulls. Synchronize them. Get them covered fast. You know, I am Clayton Hobbits, another fine group of brangus ladies in Wharton, Texas. I hope you have a blessed day.